What is a temporalis tendon transfer? My name is Amit Kochar and I'm a facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon at the Pacific Neuroscience Institute, Pacific Head and Neck Institute. I direct the Facial Nerve Disorders Program. A temporalis tendon transfer is a procedure we often use for patients who have chronic facial paralysis or facial paralysis that is complete and has lasted longer than 12 to 18 months. In this case, nerves will no longer regenerate the muscles that have become atrophied. So we can transfer muscle from a different part of the head and neck in order to help recreate the smile. During this surgery, our goal is to access the temporalis tendon, which is up here in the lateral aspect of the head, just above your zygoma or your arch of your cheek. We can access this by making an incision in your cheek here, or sometimes inside your mouth, or sometimes both. And we can uh, reach the area of the tendon where it connects to the mandible. We perform this surgery in the hospital setting, and we're able to release the tendon from the jaw, and we tunnel it down in the cheek, and we attach it to the corner of the mouth. That allows you to create a smile by biting down. And by that, making that biting movement, it will raise the corner of your mouth because the tendon that was activated up here is now attached to the corner of the mouth. Healing from surgery usually takes about three to four weeks. However, you only need to be in the hospital for one day. We place you on a soft diet during that time because we don't want to overstress the chewing muscle on the right side of your mouth, which is now going to be helping your smile. We allow that to heal, so you'll be eating mostly on your opposite side of your mouth and you'll be sticking to a soft diet. Patients will typically require pain medication for two to three days, uh, which include narcotics, and then they can switch over to Tylenol or ibuprofen afterwards. Uh, you'll be asked to come back and see us one week after surgery so we can assess the healing and remove any staples or sutures, and then we'll see you again at the one month mark and again at the two month mark. Typically by one month, patients are able to advance to a regular diet and they've also started to notice movement. You will notice improvement in your symmetry of your face immediately after surgery. Sometimes the surgery can be coupled with eyelid procedures, such as a brow lift or um, eyelid closing procedures if you also have paralysis of your upper eye. In other cases, we can couple these surgeries with a contralateral facelift. Sometimes we can uh, perform that at the same time. If that's done, or any of these other procedures, it doesn't extend your hospitalization. Um, but you will require one night in the hospital for uh, observation and you'll be able to go home the next day.